Honestly, I think the best coastal walk we've done anywhere. Yeah. Thanks very much, buddy. Cheers. Oh, welcome to Bondi. Beach. In case you don't know what Bondi is, it's a coastal kind of surfy town east of Sydney CBD. It's got to be the most popular or the most well known. Yeah, surely you've heard of Bondi. <laughs> or Bondi Rescue. Yeah, let's hope we don't need to, uh... <laughs> to use them, yeah, exactly. their services today. <laughs> So that was about a 15 to 20 minute-ish drive or an Uber from the CBD out to Bondi or to Bondi Beach specifically. And it cost $28, so I think it's pretty reasonable. It's I think traffic in Sydney from what the locals are telling us is horrific. Yeah. So I think maybe we got lucky with that timing and that cost. Wowzers. That is the like icon, isn't it? The iconic crescent shaped beach. Did you know? that on its busiest day in the summer there was over 40,000 people here and this is not the biggest beach I think it's like a kilometer long or something that is a lot of it's people it's a lot of people packed in <laughs> you can see why though it's beautiful massive surf beach the rock the waves that come in are legit which is also why they have Bondi rescue here because like it is it can be very dangerous hey but I didn't order the rain What's, what's this about? What's this about? What's this about? You can still swim in the rain though, right? <laughs> I, we, I brought some, I brought my boardies because I was like, you never know. And as soon as we got here, I said to Stace, I'm going in, I'm going in my boardies. <laughs> so I've, already, I've already stripped down and now it's bloody raining, but it looks sunny in some places. It's still warm, isn't it? Really? I, think, I think we're going to be all right, but yeah. I think we're going to be. <laughs> it's still beyond beautiful. The, the color of the sand and it's sort of a unique kind of water as well. And I love all of the, the houses. Imagine living up there. No. Wouldn't mind a bit of that. This is such a cool area. I don't really, I wish I had a better word to explain that, but it's a very, <laughs> um, like, lifestyle, cool, yeah. surfy, Lululemon kind of place. <laughs> I feel like cool is a good way to describe it. So this is the Bondi Beach seawall. What happened was in the 70s, um, kids would come down here and they would spray paint, but it was illegal. Bad dudes. So in the 80s, what happened was they kind of like legalized the wall and they made it into a place where artists can come, they can apply for a permit and they can put their art on the wall hmm. and each piece stays up for about six months. So now you can see like all these personal stories and stuff. Yeah, and there's some real touching oh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, I like that they legitimized it and yep. Yep. It, it brings a lot of character. Like, yeah. how amazing is it that you've got all of this graffiti right the way along this wall here? I feel like we should be calling it art by this point. Art, uh, sorry, my bad. It definitely is art. And then right there, out across the beach. Awesome. I did not expect that. Oh, I may have made a really bad decision here. Ooh, it's cold, confirmed, freezing. Oh, that's so refreshing. Oh, oh. damn, that is a way to wake up. Oh, my days. Definitely one of those things that I'm pleased that I did so I can go tick and when people say Oh you guys went to Sydney, sweet, did you go to Bond? I can be like, Psh, yeah, went for a swim. But yo, that's freezing. It? <laughs> that's freezing. It's my boys <laughs> my, my boys were like, good morning. <laughs> no, nah, it's beautiful though. It is, it is one of those things like you get to the water's edge and you think, oh, now this is cool enough. I don't know if I need to go any further, but it's totally worth it. It's like, it is just so fresh and just instant, instant wake up. That's crazy, eh? <laughs> Welcome 
to Bondi Icebergs. This is a seawater pool. It opened back in the day as a place where lifeguards could come and swim when it was winter and they still wanted to do some training. I imagine it was probably pretty hectic out here trying to keep fit during winter, but I think it was like the 20s or the 30s. I'm, I can't 100% remember, but it's just such a, this is a photo that I feel yeah. like you have to have seen. Yeah, along with the Opera House, the bridge, you would have seen the Bondi Iceberg Pool. Oh, eat and drink in the view. They've got food and stuff here too, don't they? Nice. Yeah, so takeaway coffee potentially, because we didn't just come to hang out at the beach, although that was pretty fun. <laughs> we're going to do some walks. Yeah, we're going to do the coastal walk from Bondi to Bronte, which should take about an hour, I think. There's also the Bondi to Coogee, which is like three to four hours. I mean, that might be set a out with saying that could be a maybe, but I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards uh, the hour-long walk. Yeah, let's just keep it cash. But it's around the coast, so we're going to see lots of different beaches. Yeah, that's working. I mean, as you can imagine, this is only one of many hundreds or a hundred or so beaches within the Sydney region that you can get to within like 20 or 30 min uh, minutes, so it's it's pretty special. Sign in? Yeah, very official. Oh, oh, this oh what a view! How does this keep happening to us? <laughs> the cream! The attack of the cream! <laughs> thought, thought we were just getting a nice latte, we ended up with a nice dessert. That's why it was $16. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not a bad spot for it. Like yeah, A bit random, eh? So they built, they put the brick there afterwards to, to keep, keep to keep the cliff face there. Feels like they could have designed something a little bit nicer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real life. It actually looks like a painting, eh? Yeah. It's beautiful out here. I'm so glad we did this walk. Definitely. I can't believe we've never done it before. Beach and it is stunning. Like they just get better and better and better every like day round that you go. It's uh, honestly, I think probably the best coastal walk we've done anywhere. Yeah, it's it's pretty incredible, and there's so much variation. You got the rocks, you got the little like bushy bits, you got the all sorts yeah. Of and I would argue, look, I understand why Bondi has the reputation that it does, but any of these other little bays yeah. around. They're smaller, just as beautiful, way less people, and they've got food options that are a little bit closer to the water as well. I mean, I'd personally, I'd come around to one of these if I, I was like Tamarama. to spend Tamarama. Tamarama. And this is Tamarama. Bronte, 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 however you want to say it now. But this one is small, charming, uh, and probably where we're going to try and find somewhere some, for some food. Yeah, I think so. We'll see, see what the options are. It doesn't it's look like late. there's anything on the beach here, which is a shame. Looks to be a pretty small selection of sort of places to eat or drink along here. But pretty charming places. This here, the coop looks pretty good. And then Stacey's read some good things about, what's it done there? The bogey hole. The green. Is it that one there? Yep. Yeah, nice. So you can see we're not too far from the beach, but not exactly like a rooftop bar overlooking. Yeah, thank you very much. Cool, and then light one. Sweet, cheers. Cool, thank you. Ended up at the bogey hole. A couple of beers, a fat yak, and something Vogue's very Australian sounding with a black lip. That's quite impressive, actually. It's like black. Unique, unique setup. Unique setup. Uh, we, we got the beach views too, and dog views. Missing our dog though, aren't we? Yeah, always chasing the pigeons. <laughs> Man, I love it when things just work out. Hey, we didn't even, oh, I was gonna say we didn't research. But you, you actually already bit. did. But this is a good sandwich. Mm. It's really yummy. It's crispy Turkish bread on top, like really, really crispy. But then on the inside, it almost tastes summery. Yeah, uh, summery. You know, it's like light and. Um, I'm really enjoying. Um, sorry to cut you off. Go for it. I'm enjoying this like beachy, summery vibe after mm. having such a long winter. It's actually quite nice to be like see fit and healthy people. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This area, whoa. If, if you want to be one inspired to do better <laughs> for yourself physically. Um, to feel really bad about how <laughs> about your own appearance this is the place to come because people are beautiful mm. and very fit and very tanned and probably not drinking beer as much as we are <laughs> or eating giant sandwiches <laughs> yolo Woo! that was a big one 
big one. It was a big one. Cheers, beautiful. Cheers. A little bit of an upgrade Cheers. from the old uh, fat yak. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, so as you can tell, we're uh, we're looking a little bit. A little bit nicer, a little, little bit more dressed up. There's so many, the thing is, there's so many cool bars Restaurant. and kind of rooftopy scenes here. Mm -hmm. Yep, we are going to one tonight, it's called Bar 83, and I believe it is the highest bar in all of Sydney because it is in the Sydney Tower. It looks legit, like when we were on top of the Harbour Bridge, we could see almost at eye level, if not higher. Mm. So we thought, hey, we don't often travel <laughs> looking this beautiful, but we should probably make an effort. Make an effort, get out of the Lululemon. <laughs> yeah, but I realized what we didn't show in that first video is where we're staying, which as you can see, is this enormous suite. Yeah, so this is in Ridges World Square. This is called a one bedroom king suite, and it's much more real estate than we need, but it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's awesome. So because we're here filming uh, for Jetstar, they have a relationship with Ridges. So Ridges do look after us, hence the drinks and stuff, but anybody can book this room. Mm -hmm. uh, and then last night we went to oh, yeah. what's called the Sydney Cidery and magnificent would be the best word to say. Probably we say. had a lot of food and a lot of drinks. So uh, they're actually the sister kind of premises to the Sydney Brewery. So they've got all the ciders and beers and stuff in there. So we had a tasting paddles. So we got to try loads of different ones. That's the way to go, tasting the, paddles. Do you remember the, the most unique one though was the ginger and agave cider. I've never had anything like no, it. No, the ginger cup. Dan was like, what's that, what's that flavor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the ginger. <laughs> uh, it's the name. Uh, it's the thing. Yes, and this this steak would be my absolute oh, yeah. highlight. But yeah, there was so much food that we had from bao buns the to... The KFC bao buns. Oh, margarita pizza. We had a burger. We had calamari. The, but yeah, the, the cafe scene, the food scene, there is so... In fact, insert this because this wasn't really for our vlog, but we'll just show you this really quickly from a bar that we went to as part of the jet stuff filming, which was probably one of the most unique bars that I think we have been to in as far as I can remember. This is Old Mate's Place and it's almost like two separate bars in one. There's the upstairs rooftop bar and then this inside library sort of hidden old school feel. But speaking of hidden, this is the hidden pina colada. You might hear there's a little something in there and a bit of light reading for us. Light reading but smooth drinking because the flagship hidden pina colada takes three days to prepare. But we're running late for our reservation. Uh, <laughs> So the next couple of videos we're going to be exploring in the national parks. I am so excited about the Blue Mountains. We'll see you in those ones when we'll be a little Bye. bit.